Hi everybody, I'm Stefan Hold and this is News for Now for Thursday, August 22nd. Welcome. First up, we'll talk a, a little bit more about the severe weather storms moving through the area over the next couple of hours, but once they're gone, we've actually got a nice day on Friday on tap. Beautiful day. Should actually get a break from the humidity as well. Starting out to the news and a mystery in Queens. The head chef of a renowned New York City restaurant has been found dead. Andrea Zamperoni's body was discovered Wednesday night in a motel close to his apartment in Jackson Heights, Queens. He worked at Cipriani Dolce in Grand Central Terminal. 33 year old was reported missing on Monday when he didn't show up for his work shift. Coworkers told us that he had never been a no show in the decade he worked there. A cause of death has not yet been revealed. In Manhattan, an investigation is underway after a man was killed in a freak elevator accident. Having this morning in an apartment building in Kipps Bay, police say the 30 year old man was trying to step off the elevator when it reached the lobby, but the car moved suddenly, pinning him between the car and the elevator shaft wall. The building's department says inspectors had written elevator citations there before, and neighbors say they've been a problem for a while. They always jump between floors. It's like that Halloween Horror Nights thing when you're in that scary elevator that hops up and down. It's really bad. A travel nightmare for the ages. Hundreds of Delta Airlines passengers stranded for hours at JFK Airport overnight. Delta 975 was supposed to take off for LAX around 3.30 yesterday afternoon, but the flight didn't actually depart until 9.20 this morning. Travelers say there were a bunch of delays and false starts, with the airline first blaming mechanical issues, then severe weather in New York, and then flight crew issues. We were given no water, no pillows, no covers. We were given a no food. I was given some food vouchers, which I was grateful for, except everything was shut, so you couldn't actually spend them. Delta Airlines apologized in a statement saying, in part, customers were offered water, snacks, and meal vouchers in the terminal. We've got some good news for pizza lovers. Brooklyn's Defara Pizzeria is back in business. The legendary restaurant was seized and shuttered earlier this week for back taxes. State regulators saying the Midwood Pizza Shop owes more than $160,000. Defara said in an Instagram post today that they got the keys back and that they thanked New York City. And we're going to end tonight on a somber note as we've lost a member of our WNBC family. Boston University student Erin Edwards was one of the summer interns on our digital team. Today we learned that she lost her life under tragic circumstances. In her short time with us, Erin exhibited herself as a gifted storyteller with a passion for journalism. She had an infectious smile and enthusiasm and will truly be missed. That's all for News 4 Now tonight, but keep watching to see why flu shots are delayed for kids in our area. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for checking in.